Good morning, everybody. And before we get started on this episode, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a lead in to it. This is a somewhat chaotic episode of Let's Play in 2024 Space Engineers and a beginning of a change in mindset about how I wanted to do these videos. So as we have begun to switch to a play once, tape once, publish, and then solicit feedback like we have in our one day at a time series that kind of developed from how the let's play scenario recordings uh, started coming out and this episode is actually a pretty good example of why my mind shift started to change so this was filmed or recorded in late March uh, and it's June now so a um, little bit of time relevance for some of the events, uh, but uh, just wanted to give you a heads up on what was going on with this. I'm really not going to be cutting much of anything out of this. I'm just going to let it go. Uh, I've got so much footage for the Let's Play uh, scenario that I could probably not play that particular saved game for the next almost year and still have footage left to publish once a week so just to give you an idea anyway if you got any questions or anything just drop them in the comments and i'll explain further here's the episode thanks guys hey everybody and welcome to dad bear downtime and another episode of space engineers let's play in 2024 and we've got some updates a lot of stuff happened off camera uh, last time we left off we had uh, i had wrecked canis uh, by not paying attention as we were flying uh, brought her back to the base and my plan was uh, off camera to grab one of the old blueprints and then throw a projector on board and put the uh, blueprint in there and then we would repair the ship from there. Well, that's obviously not where we're at right now. Uh, we're in the mining support vessel uh, which we had stationed above the um, you know, above the our base in orbit. And this to the left of me is a space pirate military escort carrier. And um, the way we came about this was as I was repairing items using the projector on the Canis, I turned back around and walked to head back toward the mining carriage to grab parts and I saw a silhouette against the surface of Mars. As you can see, it's very bright and provides a good background. And as I did that, I saw the silhouette of a ship. No antenna, just the silhouette of the ship. And uh, it was just moving through space. So I went up to see it. Uh, I figured the antenna was such short range, that was probably why I couldn't see it, uh, but as I got closer, I knew I was within weapons range. Still had nothing, no one was shooting, and uh, I approached it. Uh, when I dampened to it, it told me, of course, I had dampened to a military escort carrier. And uh, having seen these before, never captured one before, uh, they are typically associated with the pirates, of course. And that's what I think. What do we got here? I've got the ship set on autopilot right now. Uh, trying to get to using the remote control. Let's see what we got here. That is not where we're supposed to be going. Oh, that's where we're going. Okay. Okay. So we're heading to that point right there. I think. I don't know what's going on right now. It's like it's trying to... very near the gravity well. B. 
here near the gravity well. Again, I'm not exactly sure what it's trying to do. We should be fine because even our um, waypoint is uh, it's like 4.7 kilometers from the surface so we should be good anyway um, yeah let's screw it we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take control of the no control Anyway, what I was meaning to say, come on, roll. The ship was out of power. It had no fuel. Um, so luckily for me, I was able to approach it. I didn't get shot. Uh, the only problem I had was that without power, there was no way for me to slow it down. Luckily, it was only doing about 10 meters a second. It wasn't going very fast. Yeah, it wasn't going very fast. So, um, I started to run out of energy. Of course, because I had no power, I couldn't charge there. Had to go back down to the base, refilled my hydrogen, got power, went back up. Um, I had taken control of the control seat. I had taken control of the interior turrets that were inside. Um, I had not been able to find the remote control. Still could not find the remote control. And I couldn't really burrow through the ship because it's made of heavy armor. And my personal inventory isn't large enough that I can even grind an entire block so as I was getting low on power again instead of going back down to the base and then trying to get back up and try to figure out where this was what I, I needed to be able to slow it down I didn't want to do it the cheesy way of using the entity list so I flew over to our mining support vessel switched it from a station back to a ship flew over and attached to it and from there I was able to slow it down to a stop, um, at which point I went tr again trying to explore to find it, uh, the remote control. I couldn't, um, and I ended up using spectator mode to locate the remote control, which was sandwiched in between heavy armor blocks. It would it would have taken me forever to find it, forever to find it. Um, not that I don't, I didn't have. You know, I had the other, I had the ship there. I didn't have to worry about power. I could. It just would have taken a lot of time. And again, I was not in a situation. Uh, I I had a short period that I was going to be able to work before I had to run take care of the errands that I had this afternoon. Uh, so located it, was able to find it, grind it, take control of that ship. It has no power though. So um, I am towing it back to where we had our ship uh, stationed above us. And um, I'm try to speed us up again a little bit more. At least get up maybe 15. We'll try to get to 15. I'm sure, it's taking a long time. Yeah, that's gonna be about it. And uh, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put this over our, our base um, we're gonna switch it to a station and then I'm going to um, connect the mining support vehicle to it the mining support vehicle will then provide power to this escort carrier after doing that um, I'll head down to the surface 
Um, I'll need to finish the items that I was in the middle of building when the ship showed up. But uh, then I'm going to grab enough materials for, we'll say, probably four solar panels. And I'll bring those up to this to the escort carrier. I'll place those on there to provide essential power. It's just going to be enough to run the computers and that kind of stuff. Nothing else. Uh, until we can find a source cause of uranium, a regular source of ura uranium, which is what it requires. We'll also move our fighter that we have down there uh, up to this position. And uh, then go from there. So that's what I'm looking at doing. Right now I'm just trying to get us back to our spot over our base, which we're pretty close to. We're not that, we're really not that far away from it. A little bit further. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start slowing down. This escort carrier has plenty of weaponry to defend it. I know it's hard to see right now with this going on, but we've got uh, two topside Gatlins. We've got uh, rocket launchers on either side of the Foxel up here, um, and then we've got on the underside. If I can get under there to look, we've got two rocket launchers. And I believe we have two, yes, we have two Gatlin turrets down there, too. Plus fixed rocket launcher weapons. So, that's where we're at. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and, actually, let me... Let me go ahead and turn, put these on depressurize. We'll take the oxygen out of there, so we're not wasting any more of it. Uh, so as you can see, this is what we got. Uh, we're going to go around to the front here. I am going to have to replace a piece of glass that I took off and accidentally put the components down in the um, no fuel down in the mining carriage. But let's go ahead and make this station. Boom. Alright, that's not going anywhere. Now all we need to do is uh, take our mining support vehicle. We're going to disconnect where we're at. Absolutely right. And up. We're gonna go across. This is gonna be a tough park. thrusters and everything are turned off. I don't want this thing draining power. No station fuel. Oh, I'm aware. I'm gonna have 
of the station tires. I want these open. Can't do anything with them right now. Crap. Okay. There. Yeah, there's multiple connectors. Again, all the thrusters are what I'm. I want them off. What else do we got? I also want these reactors off because I don't want them taking anything from the ship yet. thrusters off. We're turning off the refineries. Turn our turrets on. And let me get in here and make sure that this stuff is all the way it's supposed to be. There's not even any no controls. Well, that just really sucks. Get those hangar doors open. I'm gonna need them open for right now. Let's check out the antenna. That one's off. Oh, it's the beacon. Thousand doesn't need to be at twenty thousand. Turn that down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So again, I'll have that window to replace, but otherwise we're gonna be good there. Um I'm gonna go ahead and head down to the base. So again, there was a, just a ton of stuff uh, going on um, off camera, and I'm trying to catch you up there. I probably didn't do a great job, but that is what was going on. So uh, one of the things I need to do here, I know, is we need to. Turn the turrets on. Make sure we're not sitting ducks. The mods guys have been, I'm going to say, a little bit more than ridiculous lately. Visitors. Okay. So let me get. I need to get the materials here uh, for the items. Six. I need four. I'm going to go ahead and get those into production. We may have some of those parts, but I just want to try to get rid of or uh, 
not get rid of anything, but to get some of those uh, taken care of. Love that. That's one of our mods. There. I really get nothing out of this guy. I'm a little surprised. Okay. I also need uh, a rifle. here too. Yeah. Production. We're still making stuff. Yeah. And I need a ref. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take these up. that uh, GPS we're just going to call that overhead but I need to be on this side here this is where I need to put these block the guns. That's the problem. That's what I'm trying to prevent. Um, tougher because it's got the yep. Yeah, we'll do it here. It's not gonna matter that much. At least I don't think it's gonna matter that much. Come on. get started. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, guys, I didn't start a timer. I'm sorry. Okay. Just gonna do this for a little bit, and then uh, yeah, then I'm gonna have to otherwise we're gonna private sloop. Hmm. Do I want to go after the private sloop? That's the question. We might have some stuff in it.
gun on each side. quickly. really close, that could have gotten me. I'm not hearing anything. That's, that is bothering me. get out. I'm stuck the other way. Great. Kidding me, man. This is ridiculous. Oh, now I hear the remote patrol. Close. Emergency. There's an emergency going on. Still shooting at me. It's still going yeah, on. Lies. Still, I'm still in emergency. Ridiculous. It's like it intentionally crashed. I got one health left. That's that's nuts. This is overhead waypoint. Yep. And then we got a new one. There we 
go. Where's home? Not far. Can't be far. There we go. Hopefully we won't have any issues. Well, if nothing else, guys, we got the location of that for what little good it's going to do us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the rest of these. Come on, man. Just going to blow up. Um, anyway. Get these solar panels finished. Go and go ahead and putting. Uh, I'll bring the fighter up there. And then we'll get to work, of course, on the canvas. down with us. Do I have any other no rec detector ping? Okay. No. trying to avoid the static drill noise. Crazy popping up. Anyway. 
Alright, uh, guys, I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. It's just been crazy. So, uh, I know not like super exciting crazy, but I had hoped we could that sloop would have been nice to have gotten that and, and get a little bit out of it. There wasn't much. I mean, there's never much on a sloop, but Okay, so let's see. Do they have a little bit of glass, I think, right? Oh, I got girders. I think that's enough to make that. Yeah, I think that is enough to make that. Yeah, real quick, I'll show you guys the inside. <laughs> it's a hanger. That's, I mean, it is, again, it's a carrier. Meant to carry a few, um, you know, a few small aircraft uh, to fit in here. Protected by heavy armor. Even that shielding right there provides some protection for when the door is open. Carries ammo, explosives. And then you've got some spots that you can lay land out here. So, um, that's a, I mean, I'm going to take our fighter. Uh, I think we'll finally add that wing to it. And uh, we'll bring it up here. And set it in. Not much to it. Not much to it at all. So. Let me uh, jump out here. This is going to be two by one glass. At this point, we could connect, we could disconnect, um, yeah, we should be able to disconnect the mining support vessel, which I'm going to do, just because I don't want, again, I don't want the, uh, well, breaks to say, I hope you didn't need it. Should be able to do this. Leave this off and get out. All right. The magnetic pull of the uh, connectors will keep it together. I don't need to leave the thrusters on. And our. Uh, our solar panels are providing enough power right now to uh, keep the guns situated. I am going to go ahead and open these doors so we can get through to them in the event that, due to sun rotation, we lose power. So, we'll head down. I really only need to make one more trip up here. Nah, crap. I'll grab the rest of the silicon. the bulletproof glass we'll get that installed and then
then we'll come back down here and work on the canis. That's what we're going to do. Should be airtight. No, we're not because the doors are open. That's right. Let's go take a look at this guy and just get a look at him. I know what he's got. See, he looks like he's going into the planet too. He might be. Yeah, he's not going to make it out unless he's got. Yeah, he's in trouble. And crash. I don't know. It sure does appear he's going to crash. I think we'll watch him and see if he crashes. If he does. Which does look like he's going to. We'll mark his location and go check it out. <laughs> close to that freaking mod space so yeah this guy's going down hard Holy crap. I don't understand. Oh, we got a lot of stuff in here, too. Um, can I... Access denied. Okay. If I start grinding it... We're going to lose reputation and some space police are going to come after us, so. We need a... We're going to need to make... A hacking block. GPS.
actually. Where's home? Alright, not too far away. That's pretty wild. Alright guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the uh, taping today. Um, it's been, like I said, it's just been a crazy bit. Here we need to get the canis started. I'm gonna see if I can. God, I don't think I can even. I don't know if I can make a hacking chip. Yeah, we might need to make some adjustments. Alright guys, thank you for checking out the video. Sorry for the chaos of the video. Um, a lot of weird stuff. That's all I'm going to say. A lot of weird stuff. If you like the video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Really appreciate it. And subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't. And share the video. It's still working on trying to get a hundred subscribers uh, between the two channels Dad Bear DIY and Dad Bear Downtime um, between now and the end of May I think um, it would be great if we could do it by May uh, we're close um, check out the other channel if you haven't DIY videos and uh, support there too really appreciate it guys I'll catch you next time well, who knows what's going to happen in this place. It's kind of crazy. Till then, though, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be safe. And I will see you then. But until then, I should go.